Hello my friends, I'm Kote. Today I will tell you three stories about belly fat, also known as abdominal fat and visceral fat. Let's define first what is um, visceral fat. Uh, we have two types of fats, subcutaneous fat and visceral fat or abdominal fat. Subcutaneous fat is uh, this, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, beneath the skin, under the skin directly it and you can pinch it is subcutaneous skin subcutaneous skin is everywhere in our body it's under the skin and visceral fat is um, it around our internal organs for example liver pancreas gastric intestines it surrounds around our internal organs here this is visceral fat visceral fat is different from subcutaneous fat because it is metabolically active that's most in, most important difference because it's metabolically active and visceral fat is associated with many diseases including diabetes insulin resistance uh, cardiovascular disease certain uh, several types of cancers it associated with diseases because it is metabolically active Now let's define what is, what means metabolically active. Uh, visceral fat produces several hormones, which which is called adipokines. Adipokines is collective name, and and under this we mean several uh, several hormones, including leptin, resistin, adiponectin. So, uh, visceral fat produces hormones that's why it's metabolically active visceral fat produces cytokines inflammatory agents pro-inflammatory agents which which causes inflammation and uh, these uh, hormones and cytokines and interleukins uh, this resistin adiponectin um, leptin uh, which is produced by uh, visceral fat directly directly goes to portal vein so it can directly affect internal organs that's why it's important these hormones can directly affect pancreas it can directly affect liver and other internal organs so it's metabolically active and what specifically it do uh, and what causes uh, visceral fats or abdominal fats? It causes insulin resistance uh, and mechanism is many, uh, it, it has many mechanisms and not only mechanism you can explain uh, because it's complex process of course but uh, one of most important mechanism is uh, visceral fat produces fatty acids into bloodstream so it releases lots of fatty acids uh, into bloodstream directly and it affects glucose metabolism directly into the cell. So it, um, uh, it causes insulin resistance and in, um, glucose uptake by cells in, in, is inhibited and more difficult. It's insulin resistance. Uh, another another factor is um, high fatty acids uh, produced by uh, visceral fat causes increased glucose production it's also important increased glucose production increases inflammation in the body it causes uh, chronic damage of cells especially nerve cells and endothelium of uh, blood vessels so uh, glucose uh, increased glucose is another uh, negative 
important health effect uh, which can cause insulin resistance so one was fatty acids production another glucose production uh, uh, and increased gl glucose production by liver uh, another important uh, factor is increased inflammation visceral fat increases inflammation it increases uh, uh, adipokines uh, cytokines tumor necros factor uh, alpha interlakings which uh, these three all are uh, inflammatory mediators and in it they increase inflammation in the body it means chronic inflammation it means increase the risk of chronic diseases and even even uh, visceral fat affects our sleep and causes sleep apnea there are researches which confirms that people who has more uh, visceral fat commonly has sleep apnea and it it happens because inflammation uh, inflammation by visceral fat causes inflammation in respiratory system also it's important factor and uh, abdominal fat also uh, it press our diaphragm and uh, we have reduced lung function it's another factor and hormonal imbalance uh, adiponectin uh, uh, ad uh, um, visceral fat affects uh, adipokins uh, we said that adipokines are collective name of these hormones uh, and these hormones are adiponectin, leptin, resistin uh, leptin level is increased uh, leptin level increased actually generally it's good because increased lept uh, leptin uh, level means more satiety and uh, less hunger but when it is produced very high amount uh, leptin resistance occur so we have high leptin but no uh, leptin effects that's the problem uh, adiponectin is also hormone which cause sati satiety and uh, such things uh, and uh, decreased appetite but subcutaneous fat um, increases adiponectin level but visceral fa fat uh, produce less adiponectin so it's also bad signal and resistin have direct correlation of insulin resistance resistin is another hormone which is produced by visceral fats and now what is solution what can we do what can we do against um, uh, against uh, visceral fat what is uh, confirmed by researches first is low calorie diet with high protein is effective method and exercise here is very simple way but effective we have no, no there is no targeted targeted uh, targeted effective ways that uh, which can uh, decrease only abdominal fat no such things we have only complex management which is low calorie diet for example minus fifth, uh, 500 calories per day uh, and exercise exercise can be resistance exercise can be aerobic any kind of exercise is good thank you very much if you like my video please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now